Yo, what's up? EA has finally come through in the clutch for the fans of the NBA Live Series and added something that they've been asking for to be featured into the game since the return of NBA Live back in 2013. And that is the ability to edit rosters with the latest patch update, man. They finally brought this feature back into the game. Of course, you know, it made its disappearance back in Live 10. But that was a long time ago. I mean, with this update, you now have the ability to edit ratings, cut players, get rid of players, create players. You have like up to 135 create a uh, player's cap space, you know, so that's a good thing. The only true downside to the entire thing is that whenever you do create a player, you can, uh, there's only 20 pre-made heads to choose from, so obviously the players won't look like themselves. Like if you look in the background, you know, saying we got Shakimbe Matumbo, you know, it's supposed to be Shaq, but you know, kind of look like a cross between the Kimbe, then we got supposed to be Kobe Bryant, but you know what I'm saying? Look more like Chris Webber. But, hey, we just gonna run with it. We gonna pretend like, yo, that's Kobe, that's Shaq. You know what I'm saying? They on the new look Lakers with the young bucks. You know? Just trying to get it out there and get the game, man. But, yeah, man, 135 uh, player creations, man, that's that, that's that's a, that's a good deal right there. Now, I mean, hopefully, like in the future, they either add a, a creation tool to allow you to change, you know, skin tones or, you know, facial structures of these uh, pre-made creations or just add more pre-made heads. I mean, like, I, I'll say maybe like 100 new default heads because, I mean, you already got a, a, a good bit of hairstyles, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everything free range, you know, it's full range with the creation, man. You can add accessories and everything to players that are currently already in the game the only downside is you can't change like shoe companies like you got Lonzo Ball he's locked into a Nike contract so I just gave him the the Kobe NXT's in this video he's already just wearing the the regular AD team color joints you know what I'm saying so I just gave him the NXT version you know just now but yeah man it, it's a that's a good look that's something that people been been waiting for for a very very long time and i think it's a step in the right direction i mean they've been making some strides to you know try to appeal to the fans more so this year than in previous lives you know like you know once they get to a certain point you know it's just kind of like all right we just don't care about the game anymore i guess because the game wasn't selling as much but i mean with these monstrous price drops, I mean, the game was $15 during Black Friday, and it's like $30 brand new, you know, on the daily. I mean, even when it launched, you know, it was it was uh, pretty cheap. You could have got it for like, what is it, like 40 bucks, I believe, 40 or $30, I don't know. I can't remember, but I know it was, I know it was really cheap when the game came out if you pre-ordered it. So, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of like they're doing all they can to try to, you know, real back end fans and try to take fans from the, you know, the other game that I don't want to mention, you know, but hey, hey, man, I just can say, right, just, they just keep up the good work, keep doing what they're doing, and who knows, you know, of course, the game, you know, they, they need to work on other things, probably get a, a new engine because, I mean, this engine is it's kind of stay this course now man it's, it's time for something new some new uh, animations you know but for right now the game the game itself man it's it's pretty good i think it's solid uh like i said if you didn't pick it up for 15 bucks i mean 30 dollars you know it's not too bad either but for 15 i think you could have you know got a, a fairly decent basketball game and now you got editing tools man so what more could you ask for okay there's a lot more that you could ask for you know it would be cool to be able to edit the WNBA rosters but unfortunately you can't and for some strange reason Skylar Diggins still has a default create player face but we're not gonna get into that at least they face Kansas Parker face and they don't look like twins you know Kobe Bryant got swatted, but I'm not going to let you leave this video without seeing Kobe Bryant 
dunk on somebody. That's it, man. I'm out. Peace.